Now we're ready to define the area to tell the program where you want to place decorative concrete. We're going to redo this whole driveway here. So that's what we want to define. So basically you're going to trace around it. You can even change the shape and stuff if you wanted to. So what we're going to do is we go up here to the drawing tool. The default setting is the polygon tool. Again, watch the training movie on the define area tools because it's very important that you understand all the idiosyncrasies of this so that you can use it better. Pick a point to start drawing from. I'm going to start at the bottom of the driveway here. So I'm going to click with my mouse and as you can see that first point is set and I'm moving my mouse around. I'm not clicking and dragging, I'm clicking and then releasing the mouse and then moving it to the next point. So I see the driveway kind of changes directions right about here. So I click another point. Then I'm going to bring it up to here. And I'm going to zoom in so I can see this better by pressing F10 on the keyboard. Zoom in twice. Okay, so now I'm going to just click here to define this area. Now this particular driveway is actually divided into two pieces because of this pilaster here. Don't worry about that. You can define one area with two or three or four or five different sections in it. It doesn't matter. You'll understand here in a second. So I'm going to go up here, define around these planting areas, move this out of my way, and like I said earlier, I'm just going to cover up the basketball base here, basketball hoop base, and go down the edge of the driveway here. And I come back to the first point where I started. Now there's three ways to close the polygon. You can click on the first point you drew, it will close it. You can double click on the first point and it will close it or you can press enter on the keyboard. I recommend you press enter on the keyboard because that's always a fail safe. It always works and gets you what you want. So I'm going to press enter. So now I have this half of the driveway defined. I want to define this half. So do not exit the define area tool at this point because you're just going to go back in and define another area. Again, zoom in while you're drawing by pressing F10. Okay, I have it all defined. Let's zoom out. Looks good. Now I'm going to press OK to exit, exit this menu or the shortcut is to click on Pattern Library. That is what I recommend that you do all the time really. If you defined an area and you're not going to turn it into an object, you're going to place some decorative concrete on it, click on Pattern Library. That will bring up this menu here. Now this is the Pattern Library menu. I recommend that you watch the training movie that covers this in details because I'm going to gloss over most of it so that you can get the basic idea of what you're trying to do. But if you want to understand it in its entirety, make sure you watch that training movie. Okay, so first of all, there are two basic pieces to this menu. There's the libraries that can be moved around on the screen. The libraries can be sized to different sizes. And there is this uh, piece of the menu that actually is the controls of everything. So let's start by selecting something to place in this driveway. I'm going to use tile here because tile allows you to see the perspective better. Let's get a tile that might look good here. Let's try this one here. So I'm going to double click on the pattern that I want and it places it on the driveway. Now you can see it doesn't look very realistic. Let's size it up just a little bit here it's just a bunch of squares and they don't have perspective on them so that's what you need to do next is change the perspective to do that you click on the perspective handles now I'm going to click on this handle here and as I move it up and down you see that the handle on the left moves with it so I'm going to click and drag it over here and if I want to line this up with the edge of the driveway it's going to be a little more difficult with paving set because Paving is the default setting that you use most of the time because it gets you in the general vicinity. But in order to tweak your perspective, you need to click on free and that will free up the handle. So you see now I can move this handle without affecting the one across from it. So I'm going to take this perspective handle 
and I'm going to line these up with the bottom of the driveway so that I got my tile lined up here and then I'm going to bring this one down here because I want my tile going off in this direction and I'll bring this one over here and as you can see we have the perspective set at this point you would want to change the scale to do that you go up to this slider here sliding it to the right makes it larger sliding it to the left makes them smaller so get it about the size you want and basically that's all there is to it now the great thing is you've got the perspective set and the scale set and I want to place a different color on here to try it out so I'll go back here to show library it brings up the same library that I have set here and I'm going to scroll down to another color and click on it and as you can see the perspective and the scale stayed the same and the scale stayed the same because I set the scale earlier if not you would have to go in here and tweak this a little bit which you'll probably have to do anyway uh, in the end to get it looking the way you want. Now just because I use tile in here doesn't mean that you have to stick with the tile. I'm going to go to show library and I'm going to grab a 45 tile so it's going to change the direction there. We'll go back to show library and we'll grab like a flagstone. Well, let's just pick one of these. And as you can see, you could switch it out to anything you want. I could go back in and make it an acid stain or reflective flooring, uh, paint, uh, basket weave. It doesn't really matter. It all depends on the libraries that you pick over here in the site. And again, watch the training movie on the perspective menu to understand all these things we're not going to get into now. I'm going to show you a few more as we're going along. So I don't really like what I just did, so I want to change it and let's just go with the 45 I'm happy with that now so I click OK to exit this menu at this point you might want to save your image just because it's always a good idea if you don't have the automatic save set to save your work as you're going along so to do that go over here to file click save as because you don't want to save it as the same uh, name that you had before we had Jones driveway B4 so this is going to be Jones driveway and we'll just take off the before and you want to save it as an LND an LND is a file type that you could come back in and change in the future so you always want to save your work in progress as an LND when you're done you still want to save it as an LND and you also want to save it as a JPEG file again watch the training movie on saving it explains this in more detail so I'm going to save that now so now I have this file saved